Attack I'm Italia. locked and loaded, Captain. Tell me who to pop first. Spread your slutty cheeks for daddy and bite down. I am go, go, go. going in raw. Lubrication is available for a search. Eat my fat pussy, you piece of shit. There's too many. Relax, lady. I got just the thing. Get outside of the fun zone. What was that? EMP blast. <laughs> it takes a shitload of power, though, so we're gonna have to wait for it to charge up again. Ah. <sighs> It's a shame that you boys always need to take a break when I'm still craving more. Get your very own premium fisting package today. It comes with a free... Put it up, my fucking fucking boy pussy! Fuck! <laughs> One of my cannons! Help me out here! Get the fuck out of range! Now! Oh, 
Captain, the flagship has reached the station. We must aim for the weak spots and take it down now, or it will surely render Mr. Dalek quite dead. Oh, fuck no! Do not let that thing touch my station! by the shitstorm reaction! Stop that cock! Relax, mate. We defo got this. I'm packing my shit and coming aboard. Fantastic job to both you and Lily, Captain. I will arrange for Mr. Dalek's transport to the Mary Celeste. <laughs> well done, Captain. <laughs> Magnificent. Evolution is a wonderful thing. Magnificent. Welcome aboard the Mary Celeste, Mr. Dalek. Did you say the Mary Celeste? Holy shit! Bro, are you the guy that made the Chronic Run in less than 420 parsecs? Chronic Run? <laughs> what kind of dirty little endeavor was that? The Imperium started cracking down on the narcotics trade after New Vegas got shut down. They were going to completely destroy the recipes and the inventory, man. The government wanted the party to end permanently. This friggin' ship smuggled thousands of designer drugs past an entire Imperium fleet and delivered them to dealers throughout the galaxy to duplicate and distribute. As a scientist, I believe the preservation of knowledge is essential. That was quite noble, even if it was purely for your own pleasure. It had to be done. The dank must flow. I feel it is my duty as a fan of getting fucking annihilated and pissing off the Imperium to hook you guys up big time with these upgrades. <laughs> Should you need any assistance, logistical or otherwise, please let me know. <laughs> what do you mean by otherwise? My anal outlet is equipped with 27 different suction settings along with my... <laughs> yeah, okay, Demi, thanks. I think we need to have a little talk about boundaries. Well, looks like you mates have some serious yakka to do when I got a week's worth of hard drugs and back episodes of Days of Our Tentacles to catch up on. So, I'm gonna head to my quarters and leave you to it. <laughs> yep, that sounds like one hell of a party. Give me a shout when you're all done.
Lady Casadora, I have received word of the conflict between the Requital and the Solar Navy. I wonder, Admiral, can you feel it as I do? It is the end of my reign, yet also the grand dawn of a new prodigium. Obedient, docile, complete in its submission to our way of life. Yes, my lady, I understand. You understand? But do you believe? I believe in the Imperium, as I always have. Good. Then tell me what became of my final decree. As you requested, our conscripts offered Grand Admiral Willif relief on Imperium sanctions and a substantial bounty for Blythe. A large dispatch of Solar Navy forces then engaged the Recoidal flagship known as the Turbulence. Do not hesitate, my Imodo. What was the outcome? As you know, I fought their leader once before at the Battle of New Vegas. This General Blythe. She was formidable back then. But she appears to be even more so now, with the Requital at her command. Her monsters tore the Solar Navy apart, just as I believed they would. They didn't stand a chance. Admiral, there's no need for such woeful expression. It was not exactly the outcome I desired, but this was beneficial to us nonetheless. But the Solar Navy was devastated. We had hoped the relief of sanctions would lead them to finally accepting Imperium rule in time and obeying the Veil. You poor fool. Is that what you thought we were trying to accomplish? <laughs> I may have shown the Solar's mercy at the Battle of New Vegas, but it was all part of a greater plan. The Wheel of Fate has been kind to us, always revealing a more convenient way to remove such pests in time. Understand this, my Imono. The people of Prodigium will find it much harder to object to the end of these animals when they're the ones responsible for slaughtering each other. Lady Casadora, I have served you loyally through nearly your entire reign. Unquestionably, you have. Why is it, then, that I have a sudden vexatious intuition that you are about to cast doubt upon such a pristine record? I must object to your actions. Must you? You promised there was going to be an end to this sort of genocidal madness. Madness? Every one of your tasks, no matter how seemingly grave, were sanctimoniously performed in the name of the Veil. Why waste time mourning those that refuse to submit? All who choose to live under the Veil shall be sheltered from the chaotic horrors that persist outside its reach. Reducing the impurity of Prodigia may sometimes require drastic solutions. But we must lead our people to divinity, no matter the cost. In the name of the Imperium, I soaked my ledger in blood. I bombarded heathen planets. I shot down defenseless refugee vessels, fleeing certain death on Venera. I raised an entire city of innocent solar civilians who just wanted to have a good time and revel in the wondrous splendors of tits and ass. Now, I lay awake nights in fear at the thought of what atrocity you would have me commit next. You poor soul. You're not seeing things clearly. You really should have eliminated those horrible creatures as soon as they arrived. But you did not. Now there's simply a larger infestation to be eradicated. I advise you to think of what happened at New Vegas as a bold step towards fixing your mistake. You spoke of a grand dawn of the new Prodigium, and you asked me if I believed in it. To that, I answer affirmatively, but only because you no longer sit upon the throne. It is Celestina's time now. Careful, my Imodo. You are still bound to the Imperium, and to the Coven of Nine. 
You need not worry. I will do as the Empress commands. But you are no longer the Empress. And I need not abide your needless cruelties any longer. You speak out of turn. You're losing faith, Admiral. I may no longer be Empress, but I have not lost my immense power. Don't be a fool and turn against me now. I... I apologize, Lady Casadora. I have conviction. I swear it upon my heart. A firestorm of retribution will soon sweep prodigium. And only the righteous will survive. If you thought serving me was akin to a nightmare, you had better hope the new Empress stands the test of her devotion. From now on, remember your vow to us. Keep those imbecile conjectures in your small head, where they belong. Yes, it was absurd for my thoughts to stray from the greater good. It will never happen again. You are forgiven, but I will not forget this transgression. Try to be more understanding in the future. I will, Lady Casadora. I will remain faithful. Yes, you will. You will all keep your faith. Not a single soul shall be permitted to stray from beneath the veil.